Madame la Présidente. Madame Speaker, it was with sadness today that I noticed the wait times, the lineups, which has never been seen before in Quebec City. Quebecers this morning are having to wait in the hope of getting food because they can no longer afford it. They can no longer pay their bills. Groceries are more and more expensive. They've gone up by over 20 percent in the past two years. And that increase is almost exactly the same as the carbon tax imposed all across the country. Clearly, if a tax is to be put on gas and diesel for farmers who produce the food and truckers who deliver the food, that's a tax on everyone who buys food. Unfortunately and increasingly, Canadians can no longer afford f to buy enough food. And we've seen the National Association of Food Banks that recently indicated that more Canadians than ever before, seven million Canadians are not getting enough to eat. More and more are resorting to food banks. That is the record of this prime minister after eight years in office. And what is the Bloc Québécois doing? Not only have they supported the inflationary policies of this liberal prime minister, they want those taxes to increase radically. I'll quote the member for Longueuil Saint Hubert, who said in the House, Madam Speaker, the carbon tax is an excellent measure, but it needs to be increased much more radically than it has been to date, Madam Speaker. That shows how disconnected the bloc is from everyday people. And we can see that the leader of the bloc is trying to distance himself from his own position. He was on TVA a few days ago, and he suddenly forgot that he'd supported the carbon tax. He said initially that the tax doesn't apply in Quebec. That's false. The second increase does apply to Quebec. And according to the parliamentary budget officer, it's going to cost 17 cents a liter. And on top of that, there's the sales tax for a compounded cost of 20 cents per liter. And Madam Speaker, that's why I'll be sharing my time with the member for Charlebourg, Haute Saint Charles, and the Bloc voted against a motion to eliminate the second carbon tax, which would have allowed Quebecers to keep their own money. And the bloc leader forgot that too. He said they never voted on the second carbon tax, but it's on the record on June 5th. Either he forgot or he wants Quebecers to forget. But we haven't forgotten. I remember how he voted in favor of the second carbon tax. And I also remember that the Bloc wanted to radically increase taxes on Quebecers. Quebecers should not have to send their money to Ottawa. How is it that a so-called sovereignist party wants money collected in Ottawa and wants this in the hands of federal politicians and bureaucrats. I think Quebecers should be masters in their own home and masters of their own money. It costs, it's very expensive voting for the Bloc. A vote for the Bloc is extremely expensive. And we don't want Quebecers to forget that, that it's very expensive. The Bloc is very expensive for Quebecers. Another thing the Bloc leader forgot uh, was his attack on values in the regions. He supported amendments to C-21, which would ban 300 pages worth of hunting rifles, 
the liberals came up with a list 300 pages long of hunting guns. And the bloc said, and I quote the member for Rivière du Nord, who said, I almost get the feeling that the definition was drafted by the Bloc Québécois. I know that's not what happened because this comes from the government, but I have to say, but it does meet the Bloc's expectations. Now we need to see whether the definition is satisfactory. So that means that he maybe wanted to ban even more hunting weapons. Madam Speaker, people in the regions, hunters in the regions of Quebec are not criminals, contrary to what the Bloc thinks and their extreme left ideology. Hunters have the right to continue to exercise their heritage and to do that with respect not attacks from the government. And that's why the Conservatives are the only party here in the House of Commons that will defend hunters in Quebec and all across the country. Speaking of hunting, in a number of places, with the cost of groceries, hunting is not just sport anymore. It's about food. It's about getting enough food to eat. People can't afford their groceries anymore, so they have to turn to hunting. It's necessary for their survival as human beings. And we are the only party in the House of Commons defending hunters. That's the Conservative Party. Today, with 1.5 million people rely, relying on food banks, 7 million people having cut their diets below what they should be eating because they cannot afford the price of food. This is the misery that has unfolded after eight years of this Prime Minister's inflationary deficits and carbon taxes. But it's worse. Now the Prime Minister, with the necessary help of the NDP, plans to quadruple the carbon tax to 61 cents a liter. When you tax the gas and diesel of the farmer who makes the food and the trucker who ships the food, you tax all who buy the food. No wonder people cannot afford groceries. The NDP Liberal government is taxing those groceries and now uh, terrifyingly plans to quadruple that tax. Now, amazingly, members of the Atlantic Caucus of the Liberal Party are now saying the opposite in their ridings than they're doing on Parliament Hill. They have voted 23 times to hike the carbon tax when they're here. But then when they go back to Atlantic Canada, they say they're against the carbon tax. So, uh, Madam Speaker, the people of Atlantic Canada are smarter than that. They're not going to be fooled by politicians who say one thing in the Atlantic and say the exact opposite when they are on Parliament Hill, they will, real, they, they will realize this is a very simple principle. If the Atlantic Liberal MPs do not vote for Atlantic Canadians in the House of Commons, then Atlantic Canadians will not vote for Liberals at election. Yeah. Atlantic Canadians know that there is only one party that will axe the carbon tax, only one party that has stood up and fought this tax every step of the way. And there will, over the weekend, we will make sure that Atlantic Canadians are aware that their MPs will be voting on Tuesday on whether to A, quadruple the tax to 61 cents a litre, or B, axe the tax. That's the choice. And all the constituents in their ridings will be watching carefully. We will make sure that it doesn't slip by. And we will make sure that the NDP, which has sold out working class people in favor of big government and big corporations, we're going to make sure that all their constituents know that the NDP is busy picking their pockets, that they are serving government greed in Ottawa rather than the interests of hardworking Canadians and seniors uh, across our country. Uh, this is common sense, the common sense of the common people united for our common home, your home, my home, our home. Let's bring it home.